shade lives. My name is Saul Krugman. I'm a research scientist studying hepatitis at New York University. Hmm. I know there are two types of hepatitis, A and B, but there's still not enough data. Damn it! Further research and data are essential to make a vaccine for hepatitis. In the 50s, the technology to culture viruses in a lab did not exist. That's it. I'll use living humans. <laughs> I had my eye on Willowbrook State School on Staten Island in New York. It was a containment facility with the face of a school where people with intellectual disabilities and IQs lower than 20 were sent. This is the building where the students live. Ha 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 ha. What is this smell? As over half the residents couldn't use the toilets by themselves, the building was filled with a horrible smell and the environmental hygiene was atrocious. Hepatitis was already spreading around the school from the stools of infected students. <laughs> this place is perfect for my research. The residents will contract hepatitis sooner or later. It won't be a problem if I speed things up a little. I was appointed consultant doctor of the institute and started experimenting on newly admitted children aged 3 to 11 years. Put the children into two groups. Yes, doctor. Uh, uh, uh. Right. Inject only those over here with gamma globulin. I gave the vaccine to one of the groups to compare the infection rate to the other group that didn't receive the vaccine. <laughs> the preparations are complete. Now, let's get everyone infected. I made the nurses make milkshakes mixed with an infected stool. Right. Get everyone to drink it. Here, it's yummy. Drink it all. <laughs> I made the children drink the milk and purposefully infected them with hepatitis. I have confirmed the effect of the vaccine. The vaccine has proven effective. But I needed to expand my experiment. I had a card up my sleeve. <laughs> From now on, all new residents must reside in my special ward. Inhumane? <laughs> that makes it sound bad. I've got the parents' agreement. Um, what do you mean by participating in the experiment? You don't need to worry. In fact, there's a high chance your child will gain immunity with the new vaccine. Is that so? Then please, look after my child. Yes, yes, leave it up to us. Raising children with severe intellectual disabilities is exhausting. The parents want us to take the children off their hands. Yes, the data is accumulating well. I'll be able to present the amazing research results very soon. <laughs> Soon I will be famous as the leading doctor in hepatitis research. Doctor, another student just passed away. Isn't this bad, doctor? Several hundred children had already died due to the combination of the terrible environmental hygiene and the experiment. It's unfortunate, but they're necessary sacrifices to save many more lives. I yes. That's right. For my groundbreaking research, a few victims were a necessary sacrifice. <laughs> and so I continued my research. I presented my findings at an academic conference. This is fantastic work. I'm deeply impressed with your research. <laughs> Thank you. I had finally reaped the rewards of success. However, once word got out about the living conditions in the Institute and the truth behind my experiments, the situation changed completely. Don't use the disabled as experimental bodies! Stop the experiment now! I was criticized heavily by the public. Damn it! There were still more experiments I wanted to do here, but I guess I can't be saying that now. After that, my experiment was stopped and Willowbrook State School was closed. What should we do with the children? 
Huh? Yeah. Divide them up and send them to nearby facilities. However, a false rumor that the students were all infected with hepatitis spread, and surrounding facilities rejected them. Some children died before finding their next residence. It was a harrowing sight. On the other hand, I was able to keep my position as chairman of the American Pediatric Society, which I obtained in 1972. <laughs> if you think about my contribution to the medical world, I guess it's not surprising. <laughs> In 1983, I was awarded the Lasker Award, one of the most prestigious awards in the medical world. Doctor, congratulations! Well, thank you, thank you. My only regret was missing out on the Nobel Prize due to the extensive criticism from overseas, but I'll let it slide. Thank you for watching till the end. This channel brings you manga based on dark stories and underground societies. Please subscribe for more content. Please leave a comment if you have any thoughts. Let's interact and exchange opinions.